Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And we have a little bit of something special here. This is a brand new release, brand new model Jordan, brand new colorway, all that. So what we have here is a pretty unique style box. We have the 30 going across the top here. You have a tab here. So I'm gonna turn this around real quick. Actually, we'll do the tag. So as you can see, we have an Air Jordan 35 SP TP, and it is a Glacier Gray Laser Crimson colorway. Those are not the only colors, men's size 13. Retail was $180, which in terms of new Jordan models, I think is a pretty fair retail price. And getting into the box real quick, these did come out on October 17th of this year, 2020. So the tab opens here and this part of the box folds out and then this part of the box folds out on this side. So you have this kind of collapsing two sides. You get this kind of graph paper gridded tech kind of form. And then these are the shoes, which I know they are pretty bright, but I think they're pretty nice. So before I really show them in detail, obviously we will kind of pack this up here and I wanted to show to the display. I thought it was a pretty cool idea for Jordan brand to do a more unique style box for a release. And this is what we have here. This is actually inspired by the Jordan 5 in terms of colorway. I guess I can see it, but kind of can't. Uh, you know, it is a 90s release with the Jordan 5, and this is the 30th anniversary of that. So we're looking at 1990, 2020, 2020 styling and technology with maybe some 90s flair and style color code. I can kind of see that going on. Other than that, I'm not quite sure other than the 30th anniversary detail. Looking over the shoe though, I wanna talk about a couple of things since I don't do performance reviews, a couple of the tech that I did some research on is under here you have an exposed airbag in the forefoot and the sole, which is under there. You also have a brand new fly wire with something called a Kerman uh, cage underneath. This is the first time that's been used together. And across the midsole, you have an Eclipse Plate 2.0, which is similar to the technology used in the Jordan 34 before this. Other than that, we have a different use of materials as well across the sneaker. Like I said, you have an interesting fly wire netting going across the upper of the sneaker. We have a gray kind of nubuck suede going across right here, connecting with a... I guess it would be like a reflective mother of pearl kind of effect as you can see like an oil stain this is quite interesting here this little plate area has a I don't know if anybody knows anything about cars kind of like a pearlescent paint it looks blue at certain angles and then other times it looks purple so it's kind of interesting and I like how it changes a little bit down here it comes up from that crimson into like almost like a little slight pink hue on the trim to that purplish blue as you move it and yeah I like the overall design of them they're a little wild in color for me i'm not like i like bright colors i'm not like boring and muted in tone but at the same time this has a lot of color going on so i don't know what i'd really wear this with coming across the upper here you have a hard kind of uh meshing that exposes underneath the material used to give the heel right up here stability you have the 23 of course jordan's number on the back and right across here is that same gray nubuck. This is the first time I've seen them do this for a tag. So underneath here, you actually have a Jordan tag. Well, Nike Air right underneath there. And this is a piece of foam that they put to protect their tag in shipment. I was kind of curious if anybody's ever seen Jordan brand ship a sneaker like that. Let me know because that's the first time I think I've ever seen that. And you have the crimson lining coming across here with some really nice padding. Once again, with Jordan performance models like the 35 I'll put in text here. I recommend going true to size. Do not size up. Don't size down. Go true to size and you should be all right. I think they run true to size. That's just how I felt in the previous years. And I've bought in the 30s or 29, 30, 31, 32, um, 34. So it, it all depends on if you have a really, really wide foot. You have an extremely wide foot, you might want to have a size up. But it's a performance shoe, so you want to have them a little bit snug. We have a little bit of a neon kind of greenish color going on here. I know it looks yellow, but it's got a hue of a green to it. We have a really, really nice royal deep blue that's coming up the tongue. That has a very intricate design. It's kind of like a nubuck suede underneath that exposed stitching. And this is all stitching going across the tongue. So you can actually feel where the stitching was done. And there you have a 
kind of like a plastic rubbery it's kind of hard to describe what that uh, logo is there right here is some more of that crimson green kind of or not crimson green but like a vault green kind of color that matches there we have kind of a burnt orange for the lace loops there's a little bit more of that vault kind of green going there you have another 23 by the toe box here there is a look at some of the caging on the toe box which isn't um, peripherated or see-through or anything it's just for a detail and effect on the medial side, flywire system with that Kerman cage underneath. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Let me know if I'm not. You have this kind of rubberized midsole, which is kind of interesting. There is a look of your bright crimson outsole with the black Jordan logo in the middle. And you have the air zoom right there with kind of that mother of pearl oil stain effect once again. And that same effect is right here too. Forgot to mention that. And underneath the tongue, you have 84 to 2003. Those were Jordan's playing years, started in 84, drafted out of North Carolina, and then 03, he left with the Wizards. And your insole is just kind of a weird geometric pattern that has a burnt orange red pattern, and the Jordan Jumpman is kind of this royal blue color, and it's on like a teal green kind of insole. Once again, a lot of colors going on. Granted, you're not going to see the insole, but still, a lot of colors going on. Uh, for 180, they did not give us an extra pair of laces. Both shoes have the same colors going on. There's no mismatch. Uh, both shoes have the same tongue with the same little loop, same stuff underneath the tongue. Nope, oh, no, this one doesn't have the same thing. This one has the 35. So you have the three X's, which makes 30. And then you have the V right here on top in the green, which makes it 35. So that's a cool little touch. That's actually different than the other one. And your insole is the same, but I did want to mention the laces, which are a flat black lace with a royal blue tip, and the dots on there do have a 3M reflective touch to them, which was kind of nice. I like to see that. And I do wish we got another pair of laces with them, but once again, 180 I think is a fair price for a new Jordan model. I hope they keep it at that price and they don't raise it, but then again, when we get more premium selections or collaborations, the price might go up. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope this helped you get a nice detailed look to make a decision if you want to buy these or not. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the brand new Jordan Model 35. This one is titled the um, Center of Gravity, I think it was. And I'm pretty sure that was it. And other than that, I thank you guys for stopping around today. I'll make sure to answer back to everybody in the comments. Great to hear from everybody. I appreciate all the support. I got more stuff coming shortly. Stick around. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And I hope you have a great day. All right.